remote access VPN with L2TP. In this video, we can learn about how to configure remote access VPN. Remote access VPN means that we can access our servers in the company through internet from outside. Okay, suppose if we, if we are outside of our company and we need to access our server, then we, sh we can use the in we can use uh, internet as our medium okay we can connect it through internet but there is there are a lot of uh, problems occurs may occurs means that uh, hacking problems so we need to create a vpn between our client computer our computer and our server in this video we can learn how to create a remote access vpn to create a v, uh, remote access VPN, initially we should have uh, a DC, okay? And uh, we should have uh, a VPN server, a dedicated VPN server. In that VPN server, uh, we should have uh, at least uh, two NAC. The one NAC should connect it with uh, our LAN inside the company, okay? And uh, another NAC, it should be connected to outside, means that to internet. We can just simply say WAN. That's an NHA connection going to WAN. Okay. And uh, it should it should have a public IP. Normally the ISP will provide this public IP. Means that this public static IP. Okay. And the LAN interface we should give the uh, private IP. Here I would like to give 101, 192.168.101 and uh, to create our lab in VMware, we are, connect we are connecting this LAN ports to a dedicated switch known as VMNet2 and another end of the VPN server and our, remo uh, and our remote client, we are connecting to another switch known as VMNet5 okay so initially we are going to our vpn server and uh, we are providing we are we need to add um, the nacs and uh, one nac to v vm2 the lan interface we are giving this ip address and uh, another nac which are connecting to vmnet5 we should give a public ip address so <coughs> It's my VPN server here if I take um, run and type n ncps cpl then we can see that uh, here already have one NAC if I click on right click on this NAC and select the properties then we can and select IPv4 then we can select we can see that uh, the IP address of this NAC that's one one and if we right click on our VPN server and click on uh, settings and if we check it connection status then we can see that uh, this NAC is connected with VMNet2 as per our topology okay we need to add one more NAC for one interface just click on add and select network adapter and click on finish and we need to connect it to this to uh, cust select this custom option and uh, we need to connect it with the vmnet5 switch okay click on okay <coughs> now we can see that here another nac is came and uh, we, if you need we can rename this right click this if or remain uh, rename this come uh, NAC just right click on that and click on rename we can give the name what we need just uh, right click on this and select uh, select the properties click on TCP IPv4 click on properties and uh, just uh, enter the IP address as we shown in our, our topology here we would like to here it's shown that uh, ip is 192. sorry 50.50.50.1 .50 .50 so 
I am going to this WAN interface we insert the NAC which are connecting to our uh, in uh, internet I am going to give for here uh, for practical purpose I am going to give 50.50.1 so just to select this NAC I am selecting this this NAC WAN interface NAC and the gives the right click on that uh, select the properties and uh, selecting IPv4 click on properties give the name as per our topology that's 50 dot 50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50 .50
ping request so that uh, in VPN server we are just to click on advanced setting in firewall setting we are taking advanced settings in that settings uh, we can see inbound rules we need to just to go again go down and uh, select one option file and printer sharing echo request we need to right click this and uh, just enable this rule and we need to go the uh, we need to click outbound rules we need to uh, select it's the same option file and uh, echo request ipv4 we are using so just to select that one right click and enable rule just to uh, refresh this and uh, now we are uh, we need to ping from our sir our client machine so that just uh, take the run click on command just to ping 50 dot 50 dot 50 dot 50 dot 50 dot 2 now we are getting the reply okay next uh, we need to just to go to the vpn server and uh, before that uh, we need to check the connectivity uh, to our from this client machine now i am checking the connectivity to our tc ping ping space 192.168.1.100 we are not getting any uh, messages because of a ping reply because we don't have uh, the connectivity means that we are not get we don't have uh, the ip configurations uh, and uh, routing with that uh, dc so we need to do some more configurations In DC machine, now we are going to create a DHCP scope. We need to initially we need to enable uh, install DHCP. After that, we need to create a scope. Where we are creating a scope, we need to create a scope because if any computer kind of coming uh, connecting trying to connect it through internet, then VPN server will ask some IP address to give this computer. To whom he will ask he will ask to our dc because dcp is running here and uh, here we need to configure a dcp client to ask this kind of uh, things to dcp server now we are just going to our dc and configuring dcp admin had to one two three <clears throat> one more thing is that uh, we should give the gateway of uh, uh, we should check that uh, we should give the gateway or uh, that is 192.168.1.1 that's a nac interface ip of our vpn server that connected with our nac so our dc okay so initially we need to just check that after it we can install this uh, thing so just uh, in DC, just uh, select that NAC and click on properties. Here we configured 190 default gateway is 190.168.1.1. I need to change it to 101. Okay, click on OK. Now we can just uh, make a ping with uh, our our vpn server so just ping 192.168.1.101 we are getting the reply means that the connectivity between here to here is okay and we need to configure this one now so in the, in our dc for that uh, just a uh, right click on this pc icon in our dc and uh, select manage option <clears throat> here
here we need to just check is DSCP is installed or not for that just click on tools here we can see that DSCP is not installed so we need to install that for that just click on manage click on add roles and features click on next click on next select the server click on next here we need to just select a DCP server option and click on add features click on next click on next click on next restart the destination server automatically if required click on yes click on install it will take some more time so I'm just to pause this video Okay, now here we can see that I complete the DHCP configuration. So just to click on complete DHCP configuration. Click on next. Commit. Close. Just closing it. <coughs> now just uh, click on tools because uh, we here we can see that a DSCP is came here so it means that a DSCP is enabled installed in this machine so just to click on tools for more configurations just to click on tools select a DHCP just uh, expand this DC expand IPv4 here we I already have one scope I need to delete this just uh, deleting that and I am going to create a new one so just uh, right click on IPv4 create a new scope next here I would like to give DHCP remote click on next here we need to give the IP, uh, range of IP address that is 192.168.1.25 to 192.168.1.50 that's I would like to give here and uh, the length and the subnet mask is already given here so just to click on next it's a it's a and a same network of it should be the same network of our DC machine our DC machine IP address is 101.100 as you can see here so I just uh, created a scope with the same network because um, this machine should get uh, the same range of IP address of our DC so click on next <coughs> add exclusions next 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 um, just click on next just click on next next I want to yes I want to activate this scope now click on next finish <coughs> now you can here you can see in that uh, the green symbol the green tick mark because it's it means that it's it's uh, working now if you uh, getting a red red icon here red tick mark here then you just to select this DC and click on uh, there you will get an option to authorize just to click that one <clears throat> now we just installed the um, DSCP server in our DC machine now we need to do more configuration in our VPN server um, for that uh, we need to install the remote access in this VPN server for, for for that just I am going to VPN server and just uh, select uh, click on my select the manage icon just selecting the manage icon manage option and click on add roles and features and uh, just to click next 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 and uh, I need to select a remote access click on next click on next click on next here uh, need to select a direct access and a VPN 
click on add features click on next click on restart the restart server automatically if required click on yes click on install now it started the installation uh, i'm just pausing this video okay now we can see that a configuration required so click on the open getting started wizard here here In this, uh, we need to select a deploy VPN only. Now we can see that uh, we need to configure here because uh, we have a red icon here. So just right click on here, select a configure and uh, enable routing and remote access. Click on next, click on select this remote access dial up or VPN select a vpn click on next here we need to tick off this and we need to select the nac which is connected to the internet in our case that's a 50 daughter 50 daughter 50 daughter one that's going to the one interface so i need to just select that one here click on next here we need to tell who is going to provide the IP address that's our DCP server so now we need to do more configuration so just uh, click select automatically and uh, click on next here I would like to select it now click on next finish click on OK After installation, we go to the something like this and we need to expand this and we need to expand IPv4. There we can see DSCP relay agent. We need to tell that relay agent who is, uh, where is our, who is our, where is our um, DSCP server. Just right click on that, just select uh, properties and we need to enter the IP address of our DCP server. Who is our DCP server in this case? In this server, yes, our DCP server is our DC. So I would like to give 192.168.1.100. 192.168.1.100. Just to click on add. Just to click apply. Okay. Here we need to do some more configurations. That for that, just right click on this server and uh, click on properties click on security tab here we need to we can see authentication methods we need to disable this one because it's uh, less security so i don't need to enable this one so just to take off that one we need to enable this microsoft encrypted authentication version 2 that means that ms tab v2 just to select that one and uh, we need to select this option and we need to we are going to allow ipsec policy for l2tp slash ikv2 connection i would like to give a pre-shared key here when we are going outside the administrator will give you the pre-shared key then only you can connect to this server for that just uh, i am giving a key admin at one two three here for sample and let's click on apply yes <clears throat> we should note this uh, this pre-shared key and we should give it to the to the our give it to our remote user okay um, just to click on okay now we need uh, now here configurations are everything is okay we configured here DHCP relay agent and uh, remote access we uh, given the pre-shared key now we need to go to the, our client computer side before that um, uh, we need to turn on this okay um, and uh, here we are in our remote side 
or remote site uh, uh, there have a user we should tell who is going to use this vpn connection uh, in our vpn connection and we need to tell it in our dc okay so we need to go to our dc and select a user for uh, to a user to allow this remote connection for that just to going to our uh, dc machine <clears throat> and i need to just to go to tools and select active directory users and computers here i would like to select a user so just to click on to users and uh, select a user so here i would like to give or i would like to create a user um, for that just uh, right click on here new no. user i would like to give midun that's my name 104 okay username is midun 104 click on next just to select give a password never expires click on and give a password admin at one two three admin at one two three okay here i will i can created a user name that uh, logo name is midun 104 click on finish and i would like to give uh, the remote access to this user only so just select that user click on properties and uh, select a dial in tab and uh, click on network access permission allow access okay click on apply okay and i would like to i would like to just to refresh this Now I need to going to I need to go to the remote computer means that this PC and I need to uh, do some more configuration. So just uh, login as uh, uh, as a local user in our computer admin at two one two three. Here, um, just to type NCPA, just to select a start menu and uh, right click on that and select run. Just to enter NCPA.CPL. Okay, just to leave it like this and uh, we need to select the NIC icon here and right click on that. Select open network and sharing center. Then we need to take a, um, we need to select, set up a new connection or network. Okay. Um, select uh, select uh, connect to a workplace. Set up a dial up or, or VPN connection to your workplace. Okay. Click on next. I will use my internet connection VPN. I will set up internet connection later. Just to type the ip address of our remote uh, our vpn server that's it that is one fifty dot fifty dot one so just typing fifty dot fifty dot fifty dot one remember my credentials create okay now if you are going to the network configuration uh, ncpa.cpl then we here we can see that uh, here came a new icon known as vpn connection and it says that uh, vpn connection is disconnected just right click on that click on properties click on um, security here we can see that uh, IP address of our remote server that is 50.50.50.1 .50 from our client machine and we need to select a security here we need to select uh, uh, L2TP we are using that technology uh, leave it to optional click on advanced settings here we need to select uh, use pre-shared key for authentication 
that's we, uh, there we need to give the uh, key that provided by our administration administrator that's admin at two one two three click on ok here we need to select allow these protocols in that we need to select a microsoft chap version 2 ms ms chap v2 click on ok now just uh, right click on this one and uh, click on connect then we will get an option to vpn connection just uh, click on connect now says uh, we need to enter the username of and password of midun 104 and uh, we need to enter that We need to enter the username within 104 at the right of myitfriends.com. Okay, and we hit pass password. Now we can see that it's connected. If you are facing any difficulties at the first time, uh, then we need to just uh, reconnect this one. And uh, after this uh, VPN server configuration, if you are just to do just just to select this vpn server and uh, all task we need to just restart this one then that will be fine okay anyway now it's our our vpn uh, our client computer is connected with uh, um, our vpn server if you need to check uh, more things then we can just to go to the vpn connection in our client computer okay and just right click on that and uh, select uh, status then we can see the details uh, here we can see that uh, its IP address is 192.168.1.33 okay and uh, if we click on details then we can see that uh, it's a uh, one mini portal to TP technologies for using for the VPN and uh, authentication method is MS chap version 2 IPsec encryption is IPsec uh, it's a uh, client IP address is 1.33 uh, server IP address is 192.168.1.34 origin IP address 50.2 .2, 50 destination address 50.1 okay if you click uh, going to if you are going to VPN server then here we can we need to just uh, refresh uh, this one then we can see that a remote access client uh, that's uh, under shows one just to click on that then we can see that uh, here is a user my it friends store and domain in the it friends my it friends domain that's within 104 at the right of my it friends .com. and uh, he is uh, just started his uh, vpn connection and it's now it's around 150 minutes okay um and uh, if you are going to our uh, dscp server in our dc machine then we can um, you know and we need to select the tools and dsp then we can see the ip leases we just ipv4 scope ip poll we created or scope we created is uh, 25 to 50 and address leases we can see that uh, plenty of address and uh, here we can see that uh, the, the the name 3334 that's a given uh, that's a, this ip address is given to our vpn server okay that's this the vpn server ip address uh, name okay um, and the uh, thing is that uh, the vpn server the vpn server in vpn server we enabled the dhcp relay agent the dhcp relay agent bought ip address from our dc and given it to our client computer now our client computer has the same network ip address of dc and he can access it to the um, through the vpn so just going to our <coughs> so client computer and just select command prompt and just type ping to 
one dot hundred getting ping if you take a, the run and uh, like where slash one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot hundred that's IP address of our server we need to access the files from our uh, DC so just click on OK then we can see the files in our DC machine so we can use we can create the remote access VPN with the L2TP technology that's uh, enough secured and uh, likewise we can configure all the things okay just to try it